Greetings, greeting. This is Mark Brown. We're going to be looking at mastering BC computer skill. Yes, BC computer skill. So if you are not up to standard or up to scratch, then this is the video for you. If you're not familiar with computer, also we're going to take you up to speed. Right? So we're going to be looking at it as the basic of the computer. Right? So I'm going to show you some other stuff that we can actually going to look at. So if you notice right here, mastering computer skill. Part one, so we have right up to four, right? Here's so how to create file, or to see the file, or to close it, and piece it, and all of that. So this is what we're going to look at right here in part one. All right. So the first thing that we wanted to do definitely is to create a file. So all we're going to create this file. If you notice, have it right here in my taskbar. So if I click it like that, you notice right away. It actually start right here, so I can actually come back here to this and close it. Close it. The next way I get we can do it, we can put the cursor right here and then right click. You notice you bring up a small window here. We're gonna to come down to the word new, new, go across, and if you notice it's yourself, any one of these I file. Notice I create it just like that. All right, there's another way you can do it. You can come right here in the search bar right here. Create the file, very important here, and then you're gonna put W. Right? And when you do that, you will see exactly what you're looking for. And there you go. And then you go with this, and that's exactly how it looks like, like this, right? And there's another way in which you can actually open it again, which you can actually come right here at startup menu. You can click, and then click, come right here. You're going to scroll down, scroll down, and there you go. And this is it, right, from this particular angle. And there you go again, and this is exactly we open this particular section here. So very important right here. All right, so we're going to look at the instruction again and see what it says. So now we'll look at the first one, how to create the file, how to see the file. So that's exactly what we're going to be looking at right now, how to see the file. It's very important here. So we're going to look at how to see the file. All right, first thing we wanted to do, if you notice right up here, you have the tab. I'm going to click on the file tab. When you click on the file tab, if you notice this side here, bring up a blue streak like remark info new open save save as print share export close account and option but what we want to focus on right here is save as so when you click on save as you can come right here all folder next up and then i'm going to click on browse when i click on browse what definitely will happen you know this thing to this particular window here so right here is your file name and see what's type. So I'm going to scroll up right here, scroll box here. If I want to see it, you can the desktop. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to give it a name. All right, so I'm going to name it work. All right, work file. While I give it that work file, I'm going to come all the way here. Notice this, it pulls right here. And it says, can see here, it says save here. We're going to click on the word save. Very important here. So let me click on the word save. So that's how you actually save it. The next thing we have to do now is to close the file. So you're going to be looking at how you're going to close the file. All right, so this is self is a file. So how can you really close the file? But if you come right up here, right up here to your right, you notice this is what minimize it. This is what restore it down and maximize it. And this is what close it. Close it. So that's exactly how you close the file. All right, so you're going to copy and paste the file. So that's the next thing we're going to do copy and paste the file. So this is self is a file. So now for you to copy and paste it, you're going to put the cursor on it. And you're going to right click. The right click, you notice know, you bring up this cool window where it's open, edit, new, print, scan, open, and all that. But what do I focus on the words copy? So we're going to click on the word copy. Right? So you want to put the cursor anywhere out here. So I'm going to right click again. And notice you bring up a smaller window here. You're going to click on the word paste. Good. But how do you really know that it's actually copy? If you notice it shows a copy, yes. Then now to do that again, you right click on it, and you come down to the word copy, and you put it right here, and right click again, and you put on the word paste. So this is how you actually copy and paste a file. Very important. So next thing that we want to look at is to cut and paste a file. So you're going to cut and paste a file. So now if I were to cut and paste a file, you want to put the cursor on it, you're going to right click, go down to the word cut, I want to put it right up here. I'm going to right click and put the word paste. You notice you move from right here and go up. 
right? So you're going to do that again. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to press red cut. I'm going to put it right up here. I'm going to right click. Then I click on paste. All right, put the cursor on it. I'm going to right click. If you're using a touchpad, a laptop, you use the touch, left side of the touchpad. If you're using a mouse, you click the left side of the mouse. And click on red cut. And then you right click again. And then you click on red piece. Very important here. So next you're going to look at right here is a jog and job. So you're going to be looking at jog and job. Or we're going to jog and job. We're going to put the cursor on it. So you're going to hold on the left side of the mouse or the left side of the touchpad. And then you're going to jog it like that. And this is over after I jog it, you're going to put the mouse on it. Hold on the left side, then you're going to jog it just like that. Gonna come like this just to see and all of that. But what if we want to drag everything one time? What we want to do is put the cursor right here so we're on the old left side and we're gonna block everything just like that. You notice everything blocked. We'll put the cursor on it, so along the left side, and you're gonna drag like that. You notice everybody move, you know, just come like that. Move. Alright, do that again. You put the cursor anywhere out here, all right here, anywhere at all. Right here, you come like this along the side and drag it and block everything, and you can come like this. And you actually move everything just the same. So it's very important. Here, so if you have learned something from this video here, remember to share. Thanks for watching. See you in part two.